What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you a brand new, and I mean brand new, Town Hall 9 attack strategy that is completely smashing bases. Uh, it did come from the Dark Looters versus War and Glory War in the CWL Invite Finals. And since then, it has just continued to smash bases left and right and i'm so excited uh for you town hall nines out there to see it i'm telling you it is brand new and i got four replays that i want to share with you guys two of them uh coming from the war we just had against elite gaming uh, and the other two attacks are going to be from the dark looters versus whf arranged war that they had i did have the rare chance of visiting dark looters and i'm very excited to present this attack to you guys so without further ado let's jump right into it all right guys this is going to be the very first example of this attack and there are a couple different variations there's i mean there's pretty much yeah, there's been just a couple, just two different variations that I've seen. Uh, the troops might change ever so slightly. Uh, the difference is some attacks, you use four jumps to get through the base. Uh, and other examples, you're using three jumps and a rage. But check out the troop bar, guys. Uh, we got Fabi uh, hitting on Tom right here uh, on the Tom account. Uh, but this is Fabi from Dark Looters bringing 21 wizards. I've seen as high as 26 wizards uh, brought to this attack, but anywhere in that range, 21 to 26. And uh, when I talk to Fabi, basically what it is, it, the bases that you want to identify, because I know everyone's going to be asking, what types of bases does this attack work for? Uh, as you'll see in all the examples, it's when you have a dead core like this. Uh, dead core meaning there's no defenses inside of the core, and where you can access pretty much the entire base with three, if not four jumps. Sometimes you don't even need the rage. And... The way this attack was originated and what it's similar to in the older style bases coming from the Gollum Avalanche, but that was back in the old Town Hall 9 days in the old meta where the compartments were much larger than what they are now. Usually Town Hall 9s are a lot more compact uh, compared to what they were a year or you know more. Uh, you know, a year or two years ago, the bases, the compartments were much, much larger where you do something like a Gollum Avalanche. So what you always use in the CC, guys, is a max golem. No bowlers. It's golems. It's wizards. And he, Fabi originally wanted to do a golem avalanche on a base. But part of uh, the funnel was not going to work. So he said, you know, what, what if I queen walk this side and have the queen meet up with the golems and I just get through the base with a few jumps? So that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and uh, press play here and actually watch the attack unfold and you guys are going to see how devastating this attack is on bases right here uh it's going to be just over two and a half minutes uh before this attack ends and one thing we did see a lot with the golem avalanche bringing four if not five golems is you'd often have a time fail but using something like a queen walk uh really really helps um speed up that uh probability of grabbing a time fill nothing worse than that so usually what you want to do with your queen guys as you'll see in each of these examples is you want to set a defense you want to break the defense ring so there's a clear way uh where you know if your golems are, and your golems and wizards are going to be going through the base clockwise and, uh, or counterclockwise around the base. So as you can see right here, uh, you're clearly going to see his golem starting from 9 o'clock. They're going to work down to 6, going up to 3, and going counterclockwise around this base. And you'll see the uh, queen kind of meet up with uh, the main kill squad or this main push right here. So starting off with the CC golem and one camp golem jumping both of them in and you're going to see right down here guys where you have another golem going to be distracting defenses on the edges and you know that the wizards over the wall can shoot these defenses down and what that does is it keeps your main push going uh, through the base here. <clears throat> So there's a third jump down that's going to lead all the troops into these last few defenses right here. And wait till you guys see how, I mean, look at all these wizards, guys. He has got to have at least nine, if not ten wizards right there, literally one-shotting everything. 
Um, and you'll see that his queen is still up uh, nice and healthy with those healers. Still has the king up as well. Uh, does have that golem down there at six, beating on that bomb tower right there. Look at that. Uh, those wizards one-shotted that gold storage, and they're still getting tanked uh, by these golemites. And look at, guys, there's nothing left in the base. There's two air defenses. Uh, there's two air defenses, an archer tower, and a mortar left. That is it. Uh, swagging the archer queen ability as well, as well as a pair of wizards. So I'm telling you guys, this attack is devastating on these uh, dead core bases uh, where there's defenses over the wall that all the wizards uh, can reach. Let's go ahead and check out another example uh, from Fabi using this attack from this exact same war. All right guys, so here is the very next example. Uh, Fabi grabbing the six pack. One thing I didn't mention in the first attack is that was a fresh hit. This hit right here is uh, going to be a cleanup and he did both of these attacks in like the first 30 minutes of war. And even though this core, when you guys check out this core right here as his queen's working up there, it's not a com it's not a dead core completely, me you know, since there's the expo and the bomb tower in there. But it's going to be very easy for the wizards to go in there and the king to go in there to take out those defenses. So it is working on all different um, types of bases, but the dead core bases are the ones that we're seeing it work uh, the best on. So Queen starting over here goes ahead and drops the Rage. And in this uh, spell comp, you'll see he does have 22 wizards. Actually, he had a little bit more. He does have a, a wizard up there working on the town hall. And he's already dropped a couple. Uh, but in this comp, he's got two Rage and two Jump. Because some of these compartments are so large, doesn't even have wall breakers on this one. Uh, because these some of these compartments are so large, um, only has to use two jumps to access this whole base, guys. So Queen meeting up with the Golems again, starting with the Camp Golem and the Max Golem coming out of the CC. Uh, you're going to see this base completely get wrecked. Uh, it does have poisons uh, to work through that uh, through that enemy CC that came out. And just has all kinds of wizards helping out these golems. So you, you always want to start heavy on your entry. Uh, usually jumping in with your camp golem and your CC golem following up by a whole bunch of wizards uh, leading the charge behind. And just like on that other attack, you see this golem right here. Uh, Followed up, so the other camp golem going on the outside of the base, usually where there's a lot of point defenses, and just following that up with a handful of wizards, and you just kind of see the kill squad and everything just meet up. Now you'll see on this attack, he still has the Archer Queen ability in the bag, still has a wizard to deploy, and just look at the base, guys. I'm the base is just gone. <laughs> doing a mass, uh, a queen walk mass wizard attack, uh, calling this one the Fobby, guys. Spread it around, make sure you guys share this video. This attack we're calling the Fobby, dedicating it to the creator of this attack, completely smashing bases, guys. Now, for what you guys have all been waiting for, and not only myself, let's go ahead and check out two of the attacks that Fobby also did coming from none other than dark looters themselves. Let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, guys, here we go. Reporting to you guys from inside of dark looters. Uh, I do want to give a big shout out to them for letting me uh, join the clan and record uh, these attacks right here coming from what is more than likely their final arranged war uh, that they had from WHF. And the base you guys are looking at right here is pretty much the traditional style of base that you would want to use this attack on. Uh, as you guys see that clan castle right there in the core all by itself. And you're gonna see he drops down uh, his queen here. Uh, right there, gonna start beating on that Tesla and that dark elixir storage. And like I was saying in the previous attack, it's all about breaking the defense ring. Uh, you'll see those two wizard towers right there, which makes it very clear when you drop your golems where they're going to path. Uh, of course, golems 
uh, target uh, defenses. <laughs> so once you break that defenses, uh, defensive ring, and this was the attack I was talking to you guys about, uh, where Fabi goes ahead and brings four jumps, doesn't even bring a rage on this attack. That is how strong it is, bringing over 20 wizards, gonna be completely smashing this base right here. Uh, not even bringing wall breakers. Uh, you see he's gonna be jumping in. It also works very well on what we call island expos or even uh, air defense um, uh, AD island compartments where they're all by themselves that's pretty much the largest compartment in the base but what it does is when you jump into a compartment like that where there's an island expo um, or an island AD it leads you to so many different compartments inside the base and you'll see right down there he also dropped that golem just like in the other attacks guys uh, camp golem going in followed by the CC golem where the uh, queen walk slash queen charge enters behind the golems and once they make a big dent in the base you go ahead and drop your other camp golem on the outside of the walls followed by a whole bunch of wizards and just look at all the wizards he has he's got at least another eight or ten wizards and keeping the golems alive look the golems haven't even popped guys i don't even have golemites uh look at all those wizards cannot believe how many wizards he has and there's nothing left to defend this base swagging a jump guys swagging a jump right on the clan castle um and again just like in all the other attacks swagging the aq ability as well so it's all about base identification and if you can break that defense ring I'm telling you guys, I mean, actions speak louder than words. You guys are seeing it unfold on your screen, uh, screen right here. Um, bringing the Golem Avalanche to a whole new level. Fabi wrecking it with his own attack, calling it the Fabi. Uh, I do have one more attack to show you guys coming from the DL War. And this is uh, Fabi also hitting on uh, Posse or uh, this, yeah, Posse or Pacey account. And checking out the core right there, uh, just have the air sweepers, but just like the other base, check out the island expos. Uh, very, very easy to get into a whole section of the base uh, with those island expos. And damn near starting his queen, guys, at the exact same spot that he started her in the other attack. And again, with those wizard towers, you're going to see that he's going to be breaking the defense ring, jumping in. Uh, so once you get, I mean, I would definitely recommend practicing this attack in FCs before doing it uh, for an actual war attack. Uh, but it's just, I mean, it's repetition. Once you get the attack strategy down, just like any of the others, you will see how how powerful uh, this attack is. Okay, so Queen uh, Queen Walk coming in here uh, at about uh, nine, uh, bad about ten o'clock taking out both of those wizard towers. Now she's gonna be locking on uh, to that archer tower. It goes down, there he goes and drops down the CC Golem first, gonna be jumping in, leading all of his troops right into that island expo compartment. There goes the camp Golem followed by a whole bunch of wizards as well as his king. And you'll see on this attack, he does have three jumps and a rage, so again, the spell composition can vary, but you're always bringing two camp golems and a golem coming out of the CC. Uh, you'll look right there at three o'clock on that mortar where he has his uh, second camp golem followed by a whole bunch of wizards. And they're just gonna be sniping these defenses over the wall, taking care of all the trash, just cleaning everything. And you'll see, I mean, basically doing a, well, I guess a naked wizard walk uh, coming down from three, going all the way down to six. There goes his third jump spell leading everything in. As you can look right on the corner of the second Island Expo compartment, uh, that jump is leading all the troops into that. I mean, which leads everything to all the defenses, the cannon, the air defense, which doesn't matter. Uh, the two hidden Teslas right there. Uh, just to the bottom left of the island expo compartment and just check out the golems guys look at the golems they're all full health i don't think one of them have popped uh you'll often see sometimes the healers will switch off from the queen and start healing the golems like you see in this instance but the queen is the queen is staying behind the golems uh getting tanked the entire time 
every single attack, if I'm not mistaken, swag the Archer Queen ability. Um, has all kinds of wizards up, and it wasn't one of those attacks where you're where you're just kind of left. Um, you know, we only have a few wizards where it's, it, it was a close call. Completely wrecking bases. We're calling this one the Fobbies. Tell your family. Uh, tell your friends. Uh, Dark Looters getting the victory over WHF. 143 to 137 was the final uh, from that arranged war. If you guys missed it. And I hope you guys like the attack. A brand new Town Hall 9 attack strategy. Uh, been a while since we've seen a brand new attack. Make sure you guys spread around. Calling this one the Fobby. Coming from the creator of the attack, Fobby himself. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS. And I'll see you in the very next video.